What's your name? Amanda Khan. Uh, we've been here for a while and we saw that you talked about, about your project to the judges. So we also want to hear the complete description and explanation about what you researched here. Okay, um, I looked at how four biological indicators... Okay, I don't know if I'm how to use it really well. Just, just close to it. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I looked at how four biological indicators in the blood are associated with disability. And I looked at C-reactive protein, which is a measure of inflammation. Ferritin, which is associated with anemia, and mercury, which high levels of mercury are associated with dizziness and weakness and nausea, and triodithyronine is, an, is a measure of thyroid stimulating hormone, and I assume that if you had low thyroid stimulating hormone, then you'd be, um, have a, then you'd have a small, this metabolism is slower, so you'd be, have trouble rehabilitating from an illness, and I basically started this project after my grandfather had a stroke three years ago, and I decided that I wanted to look at how to improve the rehabilitation period for stroke patients and um, I did statistical analysis of um, these four biomarkers and their associ association with disability. <laughs> so I found that C-reactive protein was associated with disability in, um, and then I did not find in, uh, in the highest levels of C-reactive protein, which is the fourth quartile, I found that it was almost close to, it almost doubled your odds of having disability, which is a, a lot. And then I also decided to stratify the data sets on the median age because I found no association uh, with the other three biomarkers and I want to look more into that. And I, the younger population um, was between roughly 25 and 45 and the older population was 45 to roughly 80. And I found two interesting things. One, that mercury was trending towards association within a younger population and that I think speaks to how younger people have um, are not as good at metabolizing mercury and they end up having more neurological um, deficiencies due to mercury exposure and I found that consistent with medical research that I found um, of, uh, online and I don't know if you want, do you want to explain those studies or is it a quicker overview? I don't know, I'm thinking well. No, no, it's, it's, it's all fine. If you want to explain something else we can actually record that but when I said that it's clear actually light but not because your project is, uh, is not right it just most people are not that smart, so <laughs> yeah, but, but it's actually all great. I think the only thing that your project is missing is some pictures <laughs> to make the perception easier. In my, um, in my paper, I have a lot of graphs, but I didn't include it on the board because I didn't have space. Yeah, I know. I already had one person tell me that. I need more graphs, so I wanted to have them, but I thought that the, these charts are more important. They're, but um, I don't know. This one I can explain maybe easier, but but that I found that there was a ferritin trended towards association amongst the younger population, and my ferritin data set was entirely female, and so that's interesting because um, females are still going through the menstrual cycle, so they're losing more blood when they're younger, and that's probably the reasoning for the association with only a younger population and not an older population, which is interesting, and um, also uh, implicate should I say implications for my study? So, I think my project is really relevant for preventative care and I, my, because my grandfather had a stroke, I'm more uh, susceptible to having a stroke or having a stroke in the family, so I should definitely be keeping my levels of these, um, my levels of C-reactive protein in check because those are associated with disability and if my levels are not in check and I do have an incident, then I will have a harder time rehabilitating from an illness. So you're doing this all for yourself? No, 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 I'm doing it actually because I think that strokes are not as much of a research field and there's not a lot of, there was really not a an lot of answers when my grandfather became ill and it was kind of a very gray area. The doctors thought maybe this would help, maybe that would help, but they didn't really know. And so I just wanted to look more into like neurological problems because I thought it was an area that needed a lot more research. And I didn't get, because of my age, um, I wanted to, I wanted to look into that, but I had to, I had to simplify it, so I looked at just disability. And um, the one thing that I find is very interesting about C-reactive protein is that it's, uh, in a lot of research that I found is that it's associated with um, subclinical infarcts, which are small heart attacks and small strokes, <laughs> sorry, that don't necessarily cause like symptoms, but when the big incident happens, when you have a real stroke, your functional status declines exponentially because you've already had these um, small strokes that weaken your immune system and or weaken your body to rehabilitation, re rehabilitating from a stroke or an illness. But, well, sorry. it all sounds really, really, really 
important and complicated in a way. So I just want to ask you, is it just the project that you're going to complete and forget about it or you want to continue doing something related to this in the future? Do you want to graduate from a medical school and go into a medical field? What's your plan for the future? Um, well, I'm a senior, so I'll, I applied to most of the colleges at, with the biomedical engineering intention. I really want to continue doing medical research and looking more into creating medicines. There, there's a medicine out there for a stroke that basically if you take it within 3.5 hours of stroke onset, you end up, you, a lot of people don't develop symptoms and I think that, that medicine is really what drove me to look at biomarkers because I think that one day hopefully this can be translated into medicine and I definitely want to continue looking into medicine and or I want to do robotic rehabilitation and looking at the rehabilitation side of stroke but definitely want to keep looking into strokes. I've maintained an amazing relationship with my mentor. I still see him. He's awesome and like he's my role model. Okay, so I want to wish you uh, good luck not only with the project here today, but also with applying to the colleges. And I think you have all the chances to get into Harvard and other great schools around the world, I would say. So, and yeah, just continue doing what you do because it's really important. You're the young generation and you're the future for us. And hopefully with the young scientists like this, we have, the world will become way better. So thanks a lot and thanks for your time. Have a good luck here. Thank you.